Good morning, fish heads. As quick as it gets, as quick as it gets. Just a couple of pieces that we've got going out this morning. Wanted to give you guys, now this is really cool. Um, was able to layer in some UV paint and some fluorescence. Um, this is a big one. This is an 11 and a half inch. It's a man's magnum stretch. It's made for ocean, for tuna, for mahi, for all things that are big and swimming. And I really like how this came out. I really think that's going to get them. Uh, was able to blend in that shadowing behind the gill plates. Just a super, super bait for trolling. This thing will troll about 18 to 20 feet. Probably a little bit deeper if you know how to rig it right. Certainly meant for boats. So, Magnum Stretch. And it's going to have huge hooks. Those are two aughts, KVDs. This was so much fun to redo. I love restoring old baits, folks. This is something I don't get a chance to do as often as I'd like to, but I do them for customers and clients all over the world. Um, this is an old river runt. This one's staying here in the States. Um, I can show you some before and after pictures for this Thursday edition, Friday edition. I think it's probably gonna come out on Friday of this week. We're filming it Thursday, so. Just really was able to get some parts for this that needed to be replaced. And my signature, and it's a restore. River runs, can't beat them. This one is a Rico and it's been refoiled, repainted. Let's see if I can get this into some better light for you. It's much lighter than the lighting gives on. And I'm having, because it's so foiled, sorry about that folks, I usually don't have to move the camera around to get a better shot at it. But because this is so shiny and poppy, very cool shad pattern. We've got a few more shads. This is a dinger, also in a black-backed shad, textured bait, really good eyes, and then this is the shimmer shad, which is a pop bar. Now, really folks, how do you know the difference? How do you know the difference? Well, the Rico's weighted a little bit differently. They're all exactly the same size. They're all pressed exactly from the same mold. As a matter of fact, when I tore down this Rico, um, I noticed that it had very similar um, blank attributes that the pop R does. So essentially a lot, of, a lot of folks contest it's the same bait. I know that this has, uh, the Rico's got a little bit more weight in the tail, so it sits nose up. Now, I will say that the, uh, the pop R does that too. The dinger does that. The weight's a little bit smaller in the dinger than it is the pop R, and the weight is a little bit smaller in the pop R than it is in the Rico. Rico is $22 bait. Pop R is about a $6 bait. The blank from dinger is about two, but when you put everything together and you do all the work that it takes to put into baits, even if they're Actually, I think it's like $2.30, 50 cents, somewhere around there. Uh, <clears throat> this is a pre-foiled blank from Dinger. Um, once you put all the hooks and the work into it, it's a $12, $15 dollar bait easy. If you have good gear on it, if you have a good paint job on it, if the foiling comes out well, your eyes are about a dollar a piece. So when you think about what the cost of baits are in today's times, nobody stops to think that, hey, you know, this is a blank, but all blanks have to start somewhere, and all companies have blanks, or else they wouldn't have the paint job. So that's just a, a little dissertation on the way blanks look similar. The Rico, the Pop R, and the Dinger. And the Dinger is a phenomenal blank as well. So the hooks are off of this one because my customer wants it um, clean when it gets to his home. And uh, best of luck on the water with that one, my friend. Thanks for choosing Jekyll Baits. This is a 1.5. There's a pair of these. One of them has been sold. One of them is uh, auctioning as we speak, I think. So really cool holographic properties on this. This is a vein foiled. My 
my classic crawl pattern. Good epoxy. Love those baits as well. Um, I think that's it for today's edition. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes. Man, I'm just digging this pattern. Love, love, love this pattern. Show it to you guys one more time. There you go. Have a great day.